Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Also on a new video guys. <laughs> Always good to be back on a new video. I know it's been quiet this week. Our country has been going through some electricity problems. So yeah, we're just hoping and praying for the best. <laughs> so we can at least do some work, you know. Um, guys, yes, i uh, got some interesting things today for you. Um, if this is your first time, before we get stuck in with that, um, a warm welcome to you. Do please hit the subscribe. Uh, that way you stay up to date and hit the notification and also the like if you like my stuff. Really appreciate it. Also consider supporting me on Patreon or maybe PayPal if you'd like. Appreciate that very much, guys. <laughs> Great. So here we are, guys. Um, I'm on my four times blank map. And I've had a few requests in the past for having a map that's got nothing on it that you can actually build your own map in game. So I've customized my four times blank map for that purpose uh, or that sole purpose. Now, I want to share this with you guys. If you don't want a four times map, uh, you don't really need to build the whole map. All you can do is you can come into the game into your map boundaries and just move these boundaries about one at a time make the make the exit the, the, the size of the map smaller you know so for instance you can make the, the map like a two times map for instance just by moving these boundaries to go smaller you know and then that will limit you to where you can build in the in the game for instance so yeah at the end just you decide what size map you want from here on. And then what you can do in, in the editor, you can then just place some scenery outside, like build some mountains and stuff all around and put some trees and maybe whatever distant objects, you know, um, have the rest of the map as distant objects. So just an idea for you guys there. All right. But anyways, how, how this work is I've set up this map to have nothing on it there's no placeables you actually have to work with mods so in your in your actual game you will load your own mods your own cell points your own houses and you will customize the map via the in-game map building interface that way when you save your map you're going to get a saved game folder which will be one of the ones that you've been working on and then in there in your save game folder you'll have all your stuff like um, your uh, density map ground height stones weed all, all those uh, um, the gdm files you can place into your map folder then afterwards and then to make it make your changes permanent in your map you know so you just override these uh, the gdm files into your map actual as, as well as the info layers all the info layers the GRLE files so just copy those into your map and then bob's your uncle the changes will be permanent and then obviously the placeables xml you'll have to also do that the items just i think just copy basically all the main stuff into your map and the changes will be permanent if you want to make it permanent otherwise just keep on having that save game copy the save game um, make a backup of the save game that you were using and you will always have your changes you know so if you want to revert you can play around with having different versions of your saved games or whatever that's a way to manage it you know anyways let's have a look at it uh, at the new map in game <laughs> and how it works um uh, by the way i have added uh, all the trees and most of the ground textures to to this map so that you will be in game you'll be able to actually plant most not most but all the trees I've just called it former box Bob's blank map like you see, saw there <laughs> just for a thing but you can also change that name of yours to uh, to whatever I'll show you in the mod desk file you just open the mod desk file and all the changes you can make in there that appears here on your map you know all right so there we are in the blank map I'm just gonna jump in there and there you are there's nothing on this map guys and here where you stand there is absolutely nothing except for one thing which uh, is a shop in the corner there so there's a vehicle shop that you can visit you just press obviously visit or spacebar and there it is that's all there is on the whole map guys now from here on what you need to do now is is put all your mods down so you press the p button to buy and then put your house down put your put your uh, trees down whatever you want you can put your uh, um your animal dealer or, or you're not your animal dealer but your animal husbandry all those things you can put it down manually all right and then in here for instance you'll have now under your decoration 
uh, not decoration, landscaping. There's the trees. I've added all the in-game trees. There's a lot of them, guys. So they are all there. So you plant any tree you want. And obviously now you're going to need money for this, you know. <laughs> like for instance, that's a massive tree. There you go. So now you can put these trees around on your map and build your own farm and go crazy. And the painting site, I've done all the textures that I could find. Um, there's a lot of them. So all the nice textures are there. And then I think to enlarge it, uh, M and N is M and N makes the brush bigger and smaller. And there you are. That's cobblestone, for instance. Um, this one here, sand wet. Put some sand wet. Um, whatever, you know. So all the textures are there. All the basic ones. Concrete tiles. Um, that's gravel. Gravel alpine, for instance. That's a very nice gravel. I kind of like that one. The the gravel moss and all those stuff from the US map. they there. And uh, pathway, this pathway and pathway gravel. I think I've put pathway gravel on as well. Yes, also a nice texture to use. And then uh, that's it, guys. So here we are. <laughs> Look at that. You can paint all your textures now on your own map and build your own map in the game instead of having to know how to use the editor via all the mods. So download all your favorite mods, chuck them in your mods folder and just load them in the game put them down place them with the with the in-game placeable function you know and um, under the P sorry not the escape button the P button so all your mods will obviously appear here by the di different stuff you know under um, different spots that's what you own and um, pallets ha house that's what you own in here under construction is your sheds and stuff so your mods will end up landing here probably so you're gonna have to put down oh yeah on farm houses obviously as well um if you download any mods and that you can place them now in game all right so that guys is how you do it if you want to do the trees and the changes of the textures in your own map uh if you have a have your own map made your own map in the editor and you want to just add those like I've done to this map. Then let me quickly just show you how to do that. So I'm like a make a little bit of a tutorial here while we're busy with it. <laughs> so all you need to do is open your, uh, there's two files where you need to do that. First of all, for the ground textures, you're going to open your maps. Um, let me just go to my map, for instance, start map. There it is. You're going to open your map XML for the ground textures. And then scroll down here to the bottom somewhere. You will find your ground type mappings. Now, what you're going to do is have a look at what there is uh, in yours. Normally, by default, there's only a few, like six or seven of them. And what you do then is grab one, one line like that. P press Ctrl and C to copy it. I normally just make a little bit of a gap. Press the home button. Press Ctrl V. And then you're going to look at look at the um, the actual ground texture. Say a red concrete bricks now, for instance. So you're going to go into the map that you want to get a texture from. So let us have a look, for instance, uh, Farming Simulator 22 data map. Let's go to maps, the French map, for instance. So you go maps, map if far as the French map, and you go textures. And then have a look at the terrain textures. Here's all the terrain textures. Say, for instance, now you like, um, you like, uh, what is it that I haven't loaded? I don't think there is anything that I haven't loaded. But say, say you like forest, grass dirt, grass dirt, did I load grass dirt? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, river mud. Let's try river mud. I don't know if I've got river mud, but here you can see this river mud. All right. So we, we know that river mud is there in as an in-game texture so then you change the names here you you'll change the ground mapping for this to um to river mud so you will type here river space mud like that i just normally make the first one a capital letter like that and then this name is combined again so you're going to go call it small letter first river and then mud like that so that's a combined name and then the last one will be the actual name for the for the texture so you're gonna have to open um i think maybe you can start there rather go to the french map um the map i3d right click on it open with notepad plus plus 
and then once that i3d is open you're gonna go is it multi-layer control f you could go control f yes go to find multi-layer or it's actually combined it's combined layer but you'll get it there this is your foliages then just scroll up a bit you go to the combined layers here we go and then you find that um what w what we'll be looking at now was it river mud is there a combined layer mud river there it is river mud so you're going to copy that name in there so co copy that go to your xml and then overwrite that one there because that needs to be the actual texture that's in the in the game just double click it control v and there you there you are so now i just want to see i have already got river mud in so that doesn't matter i've just showed you how to do it now so there you go delete that for now not gonna have to save that okay mm -hmm. so that's the one the one that you need to change that's for your ground textures if you want to add to your map and then the next one is to do the trees so for the trees again you're going to go to your find your map folder again that is start map minus xml and go find your store items.xml if you don't have a store items.xml guys you're going to need to have a store items.xml so if you don't have one you first need to go into the map xml so that is map xml there so find your map xml first and then find the thing the line that says store items store items store items store items there it is all right so yours will then show uh, dollar data maps whatever store items so you change that to a directory in your map and then you're going to go to the actual map that you are that this store item of yours is uh, calling all right say for instance you were calling from the map us folder so so you're going to go to farming simulator 22 data maps map us and you find the store items.xml in here there it is so you copy this file you put it in your map all right so if i open this just for interest sake you'll see that at the bottom there is some trees already all right so um what you do then the plants and and that kind of stuff you can leave but the trees is what we're going to add so you're going to copy that store items.xml place it in your map and then in your map xml change the directory to where you've put it in your map so if you if your map directory structure is for instance um like mine for instance is just start map and then i've got my stuff in here under xml so if you follow the same suit you're going to just put xml forward slash store items you see like this one like uh, like mine here xml store items dot xml and then it will call that file <coughs> and then you're going to do your changes now in this file you're going to add your trees and stuff here so once again what i do normally is i just take the last line Control c copy that once again skip a line and just put one down there sorry not two just one and then i'm going to go to the in-game map folders go farming simulator 22 data and then maps and then there's a folder called trees now in here is all the in-game trees all right so say for instance you want to add um olive tree for instance to that map because the olive tree won't be there so you're going to click there on top copy the name olive tree so that you don't make a uh, um, directory uh, error so press ctrl and c back to your xml and there where it says dollar data map trees and this one is pine that we've copied so you double click the pine ctrl v to make it olive tree and then you're going to go back to this directory and see how many olive tree xml's there are there's four of them so you're going to need four lines and they're all the same xml except for they've got stages stage 02 stage 03 and stage 04 so there's four xml so we need four lines there all right so we're going to go to the sorry back to that um, copy just click on this name first until it goes blue like that so you just click on it once and then to select it and then just click on the name and it will go blue after a second or so just go Control c to copy the name back into the xml sorry this xml double click the spine spine thing press Control and v and it overwrite it all right so now we've got the first line pointing to that first xml so we're going to just grab this whole line Control c and duplicate it three times one two three all right 
and then this olive tree we're just going to change the numbers here to two three and then four and there we go we've called all four olive trees now into our actual map so we've added the olive tree tree now to our in-game uh, um, placeable system all right then you just save your store items and all is well you'll have um you'll have the um just want to see i mustn't overwrite this now because <laughs> otherwise my, i'm gonna fiddle around with my in-game things all right so i'm just not going to save but you must save yours and then once you're in game the trees will appear there by your placeable system under trees great well guys i hope it's been educational <laughs> and i hope you've enjoyed that very much and uh, yeah the download link for this uh, um, start map will be in the description of the video so you can grab it there and once again guys thank you so much for watching i really hope it uh, it's been a lot of fun and um, yeah i'll catch you catch you soon on the next one remember to like and subscribe and to support on patreon and paypal bless you guys take care man cheers